Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Eliza Fi Creative. I've been getting a lot of requests on TikTok on how to create my designs. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial in Illustrator today, creating this one. But before I get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, so I'm going to start with a blank canvas. As you see down below, I have my color palette along with the color codes, so you can use them if you'd like. I'm just going to use my text tool to type out my words that I would like to use. I'm going to do two lines of text. I will also link the font that I use down below in the description. So I'm just going to type this out and then align it to the center of my canvas. Once I have my text layout, I'm going to hit Shift Command O to outline the font. And then I'm going to go up to Object, Compound Path, and Make. I'm then going to go up to Effect, Warp, and Wave to give it that wavy effect that I have in the original design. I'm then going to play with the bend and I like it to be around 70% to get this kind of effect. I'm then going to stretch up the design a bit to get more of a squared look rather than a rectangle. I'm then going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance, and then I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and color it that lighter pink. So later on in the design, I'm going to need duplicates of this design. So I'm going to copy it and then move it over to the side. So just one copy and two copies just like this. I'm then going to select the original design here and I'm going to copy it behind itself. So I'm going to go Command C, Command B to paste below. So if you look in the layers panel here, you can see that I have the first layer and then I'll have that second layer duplicated below it. I'm then going to hit I on my keyboard and make that lower layer the darker pink. And then I'm going to hit Shift and drag it down to make it smaller below that top layer. I'm then going to move it where I know I'm going to need it. And then I'm going to select the two layers and go up to Object, Blend, and Make. And then I'm going to go back to Object, Blend, and blend options and then I'm going to hit specified steps and I like to be around the 60 mark I think it has a nice effect with that amount I'm then going to color my blend layers so if you hit the arrow on that blend layer and layers panel you can see the two different layers I'm then going to select that top layer in the blend layers and I'm going to duplicate it by hitting command C and command F and then I'm going to take that top layer there and bring it out of the blend layers so it's above it because we'll need it to use it later. And then I'm going to hit that top layer back in the blend layers and I'm going to hit I on my keyboard and I'm going to make it that bright pink color just like that. And then I'm going to select the lower layer and make it a little bit darker because I don't like the color I chose. So this is the color code for this darker colored pink. I guess it's not really pink, it's more of a maroon. I'm then going to make the blue rectangle using the rectangle tool. I'm going to move it below all my other layers and then hit I on my keyboard to make sure that it's that blue background. I'm then going to make my halftone dot effect using a small circle and a bigger circle. I'm going to make sure that they're aligned and that they're farther apart. I'm going to select them and then go up to Object, Blend, and Make. Go back to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. Select Specified Steps and move it around to make sure that they're almost touching at the bottom there. And then hit OK once I'm done. While it's still selected, I'm going to go up to Effect. Distort and Transform and click Transform. I'm going to make 100 copies. And then I'm going to move around the horizontal just so there's like a little bit of spacing between the circles just like this. And then I'm going to hit OK. While it's still selected, I'm going to go up to Object, Transform, and then Rotate. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit to give it more of a beehive type style and then hit OK. I'm going to go up to Object, Expand Appearance, bring in the Get Rowdy design. I'm going to color it a different color just so we can see what's going on. 
I'm then going to bring it above the halftone dots and make them a little bit smaller so they're kind of in line with the top and bottom of the design. I'm then going to click the Getting Rowdy design. I'm going to go to the Transparency panel and click into that circle there to make, the, uh, make a mask. I'm then going to go back to the regular design, so clicking back on the white part there. I'm going to copy the halftone dots, go back to my layer panel and click the Getting Rowdy design that we just made a mask. And I'm going to click back into that mask where that black square is here. And I'm going to paste in the halftone dots so you get this halftone effect on the text. And then you can go back to the layers panel and click the getting rowdy outside of that mask and change the color. So I'm going to lay it over top of my design here. I'm then going to create a gradient on top of the halftone dots. So if you go into the gradient panel and click that gray and white square there, you will get this effect. I'm then going to hit G on my keyboard so I can move around the gradient. For some reason, I can't see the slider and I think it's because it's a mask. Um, and then I'm going to select the black node and then the eyedropper tool inside of the gradient panel and select the colors that I want my halftone dots to be. I want it to have that kind of fade effect. Like I said, you can hit G and then move around the gradient how you want it to look, but I think that looks good right about here. I'm then going to bring that second design that I copied over earlier to the top of all of my layers and make sure that it's centered onto the, the design. And then I'm going to kill the fill and add a white stroke just like this and I'm going to do about three points I think and then I'm just going to move it over to the right and down a little bit to give it a kind of cool pop text effect and this is my final design if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it I will link all my socials down below in the description before you head out, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.